Welcome to Musician Live. Uh, it's your boy again, Danny. Um, uh, today we're going to be starting a two part series on how to improve your bass playing instantly using the major scale. But before we dive into the lesson, remember subscribe to the channel, hit your notification bell, comment, and share this video. Right, so we're going to dive immediately into the uh, improving your bass playing using the major. I'm going to be using the key of D, but as you know me, uh, I, I tune my bass down to B flat, and so my D is going to be, actually I'm going to be using C sharp, which is going to be D for me, but you can just use the D that's on your bass, so you can see um, the reason I chose these because you can see it has these dots. I don't know if you, you guys see the, the dots on your bass. It has these dots, so it's pretty easy to see. Then you can eventually transfer it to the rest of the fretboard. Okay, so it's going to be quick. It's not going to be like a, an hour series, guys. It's just like hopefully seven, eight minutes you, and when you instantly improve your bass playing using the major scale so let's uh, dive in again quickly um so what's the major scale let's just play the major scale on the d which is c sharp for me yes how do i improve my bass playing step one um the the you first get comfortable with the major scale itself when i say get comfortable be able to do it up going down and up without a problem so so do that a couple of times make sure you're comfortable with it then um we'll dive into the next step which is articulation of the major scale so the the way to play the major scale is not just only by playing all the notes there are so many ways to play the major scale and um, we're going to go into the first uh, articulation of that you can use to immediately improve your major scale playing and it's going to start from the high string going up so it's going to be something like this <sighs> Slower. So you can already use that as a scale or as a leak to land on your one. If you have a progression where you're playing two, five, one, two. So you already have um, a, a leak you can use. And that's just, I, that was just a random progression I came up with, but you can actually use it on any progression. Like even if you are playing uh, six, seven, one, six, seven, six, seven, one, major scale. So you already have a leak that you can use just by changing the articulation. And all we did was then change the articulation of the first string, which is the, the highest octave of the D. Already that makes it sound much better than it was uh, just plain. So um, we're going to do one more. Then we'll go to the, the next video is going to be the second part of the series which will be, um, we're going to use the major scale, yes? But we're going to just uh, omit certain notes. So we're going to go... Which is one, seven, six, which is the first part of the major scale. Then instead of going to the four, you go straight to the three, two, one, seven, six, five, three, two, one. So... So 
so again that's already a leak that you can use to um uh uh, articulate the one of the major scale so same progression six seven one six six seven one we can start it here so yeah those are two ways that you can articulate the major scale and immediately improve your playing because by just doing that you have you already, you already have leaks and also um just quickly before we close the video the same way you can use it as a movement just on the one itself so what was the articulation of the first scale we did it was the right so that can be a movement in a way that if you're playing five two five one Oh. so i'm just choosing random notes of the major scale to just um get to the one or two five one simplest one two five that's already a movement also and you can use the same movement also to four you can actually even move it, use it for six. So six, seven, one. Six, seven, one. So you see that? The second movement also, you can use it as a movement also, which will be, um, what was it? It was. So six, seven, one. Again, six. Again, six. One. So you see, already you have a couple of things you can work out, uh, or sorry, work with in terms of the major scale by just those two articulations, which was the. And the other one all right guys um this was more uh beginner to intermediate but also advanced bass players can really get something from it and uh, in part two we're gonna even advance it a bit more and see what else we could do in terms of the may improving your bass playing instantly with the major scale see you next time <laughs>